And we're in Dragon Roos Cavern. Ooh, spooky. I like the music, though. I'm jamming right now. You guys can't see it, but... Oh, I see. I gotta just pull this back. It's the easiest puzzles that Mike isn't good at. I'm sure there's gonna be a bunch of puzzles later on that I'm just stumped on. Because I'm bad at this game. Gotta pull my sword out. First, first sword of action here. These enemies aren't too bad. Hey, what is that? Drop something. Some crystal ball thing. Oh, and a butterfly pendant thing. You got a joy pendant. You can keep it in your spoils bag. These pendants are said to flock to those who spread joy, like butterflies and nectar filled blossoms. Oh, okay, you break that open and you get more good stuff. Another butterfly joy pendant. I'm guessing that'll be in my spoils bag. Makes sense. There's some jugs with a, a water symbol on it, so I'm going to assume those will come in a lot of handy. I don't know what this is. Oh, is that... Those are just the same things from Yoshi's Story, where you, like, transfer to different areas with it. And obviously this is a very simple, um, light the torches puzzle. Nothing too crazy to start, which is good. Gotta climb up. Light torch one. Light torch two. And I assume this will be giving me my first key, hopefully. I could use one for sure. Yeah. Nope, drop it. There we go. You got a small key. Use it to open locked doors. You can only use it in this dungeon. Yep. How do I know? What if I go to a different one? Alright. Oh, I forgot I could just break them with that. Alright. Break through that barrier. Yeah, this, this looks like a really, really hot place. You gotta be careful not to fall in that lava. And looks like I gotta go upstairs to uh, get to potentially where Medley is. I gotta find Medley, man. I don't know where she went, but we gotta go rescue her. And this place does not look fun. Alright, so I can't get there yet because I don't have bombs. So I kind of I'm kind of forced to go this way. Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. I just got a little bit of spit on the screen. I do that sometimes. I did that in the other video too, you guys are just going to be aware of it. What happens when I record my screen and it's not my actual screen, it's me holding the controller. You get, fortunately, embarrassing moments like that. So we got some bats right here. I'll make sure I take care of them early. They're not a nuisance going forward. No, unfortunately, I did not get the other ruby. I'm going to throw this bomb. Oh! How did that not break the bridge, right? You think that would have taken the bridge with it, but... Alright, got some water over here. This is pretty self-explanatory for a first dungeon. I'm actually impressed with how, uh, you know, easy this is. I don't think this is too difficult, or... It's a good way to introduce you to the game, and also watch me, apparently, light myself on fire. So, I thought I would have made that jump. You at home might have thought I would have made that jump, but... I, in fact, did not make that jump. Okay, I made that one. I was hoping Link could, like, scamper across the hot lava, but obviously, that's not a thing. <laughs> you got the dungeon map. You can view it by tapping the map screen on the Wii U gamepad. Cool. So here's the map, as you guys can see on the uh, bottom of your screen. Uh, we're on the first floor. It looks like there's four floors. I'm surprised there's that many floors in this dungeon. I didn't think this was a long one. I thought this was like a three one. But apparently I was wrong, which is okay. We'll probably fly through this dungeon. I don't remember this first dungeon being very difficult. Oh, okay. That was a cheap hit. Come on, everyone at home knows that was a cheap hit. That wasn't fair. And I didn't get choo-choo jelly. Come on. Aren't I going to get choo-choo jelly from the choo-choos? I know what those enemies are. Oh. Another 
butterfly necklace. I've been getting a lot of butterfly necklaces. I assume I have to use this big old item to get through whatever next, yeah. Boom. Yeah. What a throw. Oh, choo-choos. <laughs> Drop something new, come on. Hey. You got some red chew jelly. Keep it in your spoils bag. The, gelati the gelatinous goo comes from the deep within red choo-choos. It is effective as cure for exhaustion, but it can't be used in its current state. Yeah. Probably have to take it to that potions master guy. Now, I have a question for the audience while I'm playing this wonderful Zelda game. Do you guys wear headsets when you play video games? I usually don't unless I'm recording, and God, it always hurts my head. I have these really comfortable beach ones, but for some reason, they always hurt the top of my head. I don't know why, but it's just, it's definitely a thing. Also, for anyone that knows the differences between these two games, do you get more rupees and drops in this game? I'm kind of, it feels like you do in this version, but maybe I'm wrong. I mean, I'm pretty sure the last time I played Wind Waker, it was actually the GameCube version, not this one. throw my I missed twice are you kidding me oh the rocks respawn thankfully dude am I not supposed to be able to hit them with rocks am I just stupid like there we go I knew you could I'm not that dumb okay so there's there's a path that way it looks like that's uh, back to the main area. Did I get a key? I did. I did get a key. I forgot that I got a key, guys. Like, I don't know why. I just was like, man, I can't go that way. And then I was like, oh, maybe I can. So, that's a good thing. Oh, I see choo-choo. You guys are always dropping on me by surprise. You guys don't, don't fight fair, to be honest. Wait, you can dodge them? Oh, I don't know what that was, but I'll take it. Oh, I can't break that with my sword. I can break this with my sword, though. Yeah. Up. Right, so I assume I have to light this on fire, yeah. These are really good basic pu puzzles to start Wind Waker. I mean... Uh, maybe people don't think highly of the first dungeon. I think this is a really great intro to teach you how to play the damn game, to be honest. I, I'm loving this. Oh, I'm not loving that. You're gonna hear a lot of that, I assume. Also, how cool is it that this goes outside? I mean, shout out to the devs on this. That is just awesome, man. I still hear his, uh... Oh. I gotta wait. I don't want to get lit on fire. I want to kill those birds. Come here. I want to make sure I don't lose whatever he drops, too. Uh oh. Okay, I don't think he dropped anything. Sometimes I think they drop really good items, but you gotta be careful that you don't, you know, have it fall off. I think he took, gave me some damage, too, there. Uh, how do I go? Oh. Yeah. Let's wait. Let's wait. Sometimes being patient has a, has some value, because otherwise I would have been blasted off the side of this cave. Alright, let's go, Link. Come on. Move a little quicker if you could, buddy. Dude, I don't know why he can't just jump there, too. He probably can, to be honest. Alright. I probably have to do this. Please don't tell me I get attacked here, too. Gotta make sure that I don't. Go up. There we go. Part makes me nervous. 
Okay, so I assume I just throw this bomb this way. Now I realize, too, when I'm in combat, you hold uh, ZR, which is R2 on here. I don't know why I wasn't doing that before, but I'm stupid. That's why I took damage. Would have never taken damage if... Oh... Puzzle time. Okay, I'm going to assume I pull one out. Pull one out. I think that's all I had to do. I think that's it. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. I think mice, like, sell you stuff. Oh, it's hey. Tetra, or one of the pirates. Have you seen- oh no, it's actually, uh, the ship guy. What's his name? Uh, I forgot his name, the ship. Dynamite, have you seen any filthy thieving rats around? I know they're annoying, but keep your wits about you. They are only rats. If you spread bait near the nest, you may share their store of treasure with you. Why don't you try it? Uh, I don't have any bait. Do I? Oh, they took my coins. Okay, yeah, I don't- I just realized I don't have any bait. I assume you have to buy that maybe from Beetle. And I just don't, uh... I don't have any. Unless there's some in here. So I guess I gotta go talk to the Beetle. The guy in his shop. At some point. I got a compass. Hopefully there's nothing, like, crazy good that you can buy in here. I assume not, but, I mean... Oh, I don't have a key. Oh, I see. I see what I have to do. I have to throw with B after I light it on fire. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Nice throw. Let's go. I'm telling you, young Link Man, he's got some, some arm. One day he's gonna play in the NFL. Alright, let's go. Small key! What a surprise, huh? Come on. Jump! Alright, let's go. There's definitely another one of those birds. Oh, hello. Oh! I just literally stabbed him, and then he dropped his key. <laughs> Come here, you jerk. I want to make sure I get your item. Where are you going? Oh, great. He dropped a feather, but I didn't get it. Because where I killed him. Oh, that's so stupid. I saw a feather drop. Oh, well, I guess I will not have one. Not until maybe later. Holy oh, bats. What's in here? Joy pendant. I have a lot of joy pendants, to be honest. I think they have some use with the school teacher, if I remember correctly. It's just been a while. So. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess I need this on fire or something? Yeah. Who was right? I was right. It's just a good guess. Sometimes you learn the patterns in these dungeons. I think we're getting uh, towards the end here. I think we're on the third floor. Let's see. Oh, never mind. Wait, 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 wait. I hear bats. Let's keep moving. Oh, now we have to really wait. I remember this area. You guys are no match for me. Where am I on the map? Oh, I'm only on the second floor, but it looks like the boss is on the third floor. I think the compass lets us know that. Um... Another one down. Oh, okay. 
Okay, there was only three enemies in here. That wasn't too bad. Not too shabby. Alright, but it looks like I gotta light something on fire in here. How am I gonna do that? Is there... Oh! There's one right there, so I just gotta use one of their sticks. Oh, there's, there's some up here, too, just in case I didn't have any. Is this like a turkey leg? What is this? <laughs> I always wondered what the sticks were. Maybe they're just wooden sticks? I, I always thought they were like chicken legs or something. I don't know why. I guess just the way they look. They look funny. Oh, I got a treasure chart for doing all that. Great. I don't think I probably won't explore too much. See, the whole fun of Wind Waker is doing the 100% and traveling around on the water. And I enjoy traveling on the water, but I don't think I enjoy it as much as I used to. Like, that first time you play, I think is very magical compared to everything that follows it. Alright, so what am I supposed to do here with this? I forgot what you're supposed to do in this section. My brain has gone a little cold. Unfortunately, I don't remember what you do with with those guys, but eh, I mean, maybe nothing for that part. I wonder if you can kill them. I don't know if you actually can. I don't remember. I don't think you can or else I probably would have been able to. Though. I need to find a way to blow these up. Oh, there's bombs right here. Oh, look at that. It's one of those teleporter things. Whoop. And there's another door that way. And it looks like that might be leading to the boss room. So I just need the boss key. Oh. Going back in. <laughs> See you later. Oh, I forgot there's probably a mini boss actually first. I didn't think of that. It's probably an item I still haven't gotten yet. That's probably what it is. It's probably a mini boss and then some sort of chest to get me. Oh, look, it's the Great Valu. Oh, he's not having a good time. Oh, that's right. So you get the uh, hook shot. Uh, I don't think it's called the hook shot. I forgot what it's called in this game, but you get it right here, I think. Medley, no! We gotta save her. We gotta rescue her. from the Forsaken Fortress. The ugly pigs. Boink. Missed. Can I dodge him? Sick! It's all about button timing. Oh, I'm killing him. Get me back to Forsaken Fortress, I'll take all these dudes out. Oh, I got him. Little piggy guys. Maybe they're maybe they're called bobbles in this game, but man, they are ugly. Midley! came to rescue me. Thank you. I have to tell you what I found out. This is terrible. Some creatures doing awful things to the Great Valu's tail. That's why he's so angry. You're not, 
you know, maybe we can get him a Snickers. The Great Valu's trail hangs down into the room right below here. There's got to be something in there. You're not yourself without one. I wonder if those mean monsters who captured me have something to do with it. We've got to do something now before it's too late. Why am I standing so close to her? I'll go and tell everyone what's happening. Here, he just to get out of here. This is what I used to get this far. It's a device that we, we Rito used before we evolved wings. Yay, grappling hook. That's what it's called. Not the hook shot, the grappling hook. Just use an item by Rito before they go. All right. You can even use it to haul things from the seafloor. That's what we needed. Climb up on that little ledge over there so I can show you something. Grab this branch with the grappling hook and you can swing to get out of this area. When you aim at a branch, you can latch on to that. Remember that. Don't you worry about me. Get going. Alright, let's put it on uh, R. You guys can see it is on R now. I moved it with the... Alright, how does this work? It looks like you used the right stick. Pretty simple, nothing crazy here. So you press R to activate it, and then R again to use it, and use the right stick to aim. Pretty self-explanatory, nothing crazy. Alright, let's go this way. I'm gonna assume this is the way we have to go. I remember this being harder on the GameCube version. Maybe the controls were inverted, I don't remember. Like I said, guys, it's been pretty much 20 years almost since the other one came out. Might already be over 20 years. And this one dropped 10 years ago, so... Uh, technically, guys, I feel really old playing this, but I'm very happy. This is my happy place for sure. I love this game. I think I've said it in every single video we played, but Wind Waker was a very special place in my heart. It is, with, without a doubt, my favorite Zelda game. Don't know why, it just is. Oh, there we go, a chest up here. Chest! Maybe I need these? I don't know. I assume I need this to drop. Oh. I already messed that up. I don't understand why they're not just breaking. Kind of odd. There we go. I tried to do that the first time, but it didn't really work. Joy pendant. <laughs> I have a lot of joy pendants. So if I needed to go back up, I could use the water, but I don't think I have to. Maybe if they break the bridge early, that's why you would do that. Alright, so I gotta break this now. Here we go. Oh, I went back up and I didn't mean to. So now I'm gonna guess, let's hit the map. Uh, I'm guessing I gotta go through here. I don't think I've been this way, so this does look right. Usually the the dungeons are pretty linear, which I prefer. I don't know if you guys like Skyward Sword. I'm really not a fan of it, and I find the dungeons to be very confusing at times. I don't know. I like dungeons like this. Maybe I'm a simpleton. I don't know, but... Ooh! I can't go through that door. Oh, I know why. Because I have to use this. Once I do that, I guarantee you it'll let me in, right? There we go. Oh wait, that's... I figured out that puzzle pretty quick. But these, like I said, these aren't too bad. These aren't too bad. This, I remember this one being tough. I think you have to change the angle that you are swinging at. Which you can do with the left stick very easily. So if I turn here... I don't even think I have to jump over there. I think I can jump straight there. Yep, cool. I remember that being tough for some reason, but now maybe that I'm older, it's just not tough anymore. I, I 
feel like the swinging was much harder on the GameCube. I don't know why. I don't know why I get that vibe. But... Alright, so I'm guessing I have to take out one of these. How do I do that? Oh, there we go. Alright, so once I do that, if I pick him up, I'm guessing I can use him to put on the switch. Oh, easier said than done. Is there a drop button? Oh, drop with ZR. There we go. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I messed up. That's okay. I gotta do it again. At least I understand what I'm supposed to do. Pick him up! Come on, Link. Why was that so difficult? Everything else has been easy up to that point, and then I was like, what am I doing? Grab it! Grab it! Jeez! I'm like in slow-mo in this area. Maybe I'm getting some frame drops here. I don't know. I don't really notice it, but... Big key. So that's the boss key. So now we just gotta go to the boss. How, how far do we think the boss is? I'm on the first floor, it looks like the boss is on the third. So I just, oh! He was on fire! I just noticed that. I didn't notice that at first, but he was flaming. So I have to get all the way back to the third floor, but I'm going to guess there's probably an easy way to get there. Just gotta figure it out. Gonna need that heart. Full hearts. Okay. Alright, I gotta turn to the left again. My butt's getting tired. Come on, Link, we gotta solve this issue. Uh, they were waiting for me, man. Another heart gone. Hopefully I get another heart here. Yeah. So many bats. Oh, you know what? I think I just gotta use the thing to go back up. Oh, what a jump. Look at that freaking parkour jump from Link. That was nuts. I think I just gotta use this to go back up to the third floor. I think this will take me up. If I'm not mistaken, we're on one F, up is two, and then all the way up from this would be three, I think. I guess we'll find out. Oh, where am I, where am I? Oh, gotta go, gotta go. There we go. No, I'm on 2F, so I gotta get up to 3F. I guess I gotta go back this way, maybe? Oh, how do I get back up? Oh, I can use this. So that's why the water jugs are there. See, I'm learning. I'm learning. Alright. Get me up. Uh... Take me back to the top. Take me back up. Yep. Now I'm on the third floor, so the boss has to be here. Oh, I went the wrong way. That is definitely not the right way. So I probably have to go, I guess, straight from here. Excuse me. Oh, there's no way. Uh-oh. So how do I get back? Hmm, there's no door. Is, maybe there is a door this way? I'm trying to remember. Maybe I can go this way? I think I can. I think I can. I think I'm doing the right thing. I got confused for a second. Then I'm like, wait, there's probably a door this way. I'm probably just overthinking it. I don't think I'm wrong either. Wow, I was 100% right. Look at me. I don't know why my brain had like a fart for a second. But once I realized that I'm going the right way, I was like, yep, no, I'm doing nothing wrong. Oh, 
Ende. Okay, there might be a fairy here, so let's go to items. It's X. Boom. Mike just got himself a fairy. You caught your fairy in a bottle. It looks miserable. When your life energy runs out and you're collapsed from exhaustion, this fairy will replenish your health. Set it to whatever to use it. Got it. So I don't want to really use it by accident, though. Maybe I'll move this. No, you can't. Alright, so hopefully I just don't push X. Remind Mike not to push the X button. Let's go. Boss time, baby. Spooky. Oh, Valu's tail is right there. Ooh, it's rumbling. What is that? The heck is that, man? Ooh, that's freaky. Oh. Alright, I think I know what I have to do. Get a heart back. Belu looked down. Oh, I got him. Again, right? Oh, I made it on top that time. Cool. Oh. So now I assume I just have to do that one more time. It's much easier when you're on the second, uh, level. I'm gonna go right back to where I was. The shell broke, right? Is that it? Three times a charm? We got the Mario and Zelda vibe here. <laughs> and now this creature is free. Ooh, that is ugly. Alright, quickly jumped right back on here. Oh! Maybe I have to hit him. Oh, there we go. So now I just fight him. Is that it? Did I just make quick work of him like that? Bro, I'm a boss. <laughs> I like that opening fight though. Nice use of the item too. I'll take its eye. Yara. Yay! I love the celebration animation. Just flailing his arms up and down. Yahoo! Did you hear the pots breaking? Was that just me? This game has some weird sounds going on sometimes. Alright, grab the heart. You got a heart container. And some uh, rupees over here. So now I have four hearts. That'll definitely help. I have a lot of rupees too. I got 236. Jeez. 
didn't realize I had so many. We did it, though. Our first dungeon is done. How about that, huh? And the Valu, the Great Valu, is happy again. No more pain. Now we know why he was in pain. His tail was being grabbed. And Medley's explaining it to them. Very cool. the dragon oh and here I am that am I well Prince Kamali don't you have something you want to say I heard everything from Medley that am I thank you so much I'm sorry I mistrusted you I hope I can be like you someday you will, Kamali. I just know it, right? Then I'm like, then I'm like, here. I want you to take this. Giving you the thing I value most will give me the courage I need to stand up to bad things. You received Din's Pearl. This is the gem to the Rito's claim was passed down from the Great God. And Valu seems sound, sound, well, not sound asleep, sound and happy. The Great Valu is grateful to you. That's what I wanted to say. I don't know what he just said, though. <laughs> Use the Wind God's Wind? That's what he said, but I don't understand. I wonder what it means. The Wind God's Wind. I wonder if what he's talking about it. it has anything to do with the Wind Shrine that's through that tunnel. Oh, I think I already got that. Oh, I almost forgot. The Great Blue also names you Dynamite a true hero. I agree with him. As far as we're concerned, Dynamite, you really are a hero. Well, I'm gonna go and visit him. I'll come see you sometime with the best pair of wings ever. Hey, Prince Kamali. Thanks so much, Dynamite. See you again someday. Dragon Roost Island really was special. Beetle, wait up! Wait up, wait up, wait up, Beetle. We haven't we haven't introduced ourselves yet. There we go. Oh my god, that island is so loud. There's so much going on. Oh! <laughs> I already knew it. A customer, welcome to Beetle Shop Ship. A deal in pretty much anything and everything. Do you have anything you don't need? If you do, show it to me. I'll pay top rupees for your junk. Do you see something you'd like to buy? Just use Elder Brows. Oh, a bait bag. Yeah. Thanks. You got the bait bag. You can keep plenty of bait in this convenient satchel. It is eight pouches for storing bait. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to make a member's card just for you. When you buy lots of things and build up your points, something good will happen to you. Something very good indeed. My shop is kind to its customers. My... No other shop will do this sort of thing for you. I'll have you know. Now you have one point saved up. You should try to save up 30 points so you can earn a silver membership. All right, let's buy some bait. Three servings, nice. All-purpose bait. Animals will be drawn to that. That's what I wish I had before, but... Thank you! All right, I guess I'll just buy more of that. I'll buy one of these pairs, too. You got a ho hoi pair. This special bait allows you to take control of seagulls. Choose your bait bag and use it. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thanks to you. Now you have four points saved up. You try to save up 30 points so you can earn a silver membership. All right, let's just buy one more bait. Why not? Thank you. Bye. Right. Bye, Beetle. Thank you. So our adventure comes to a great close at Dragon Roost Island. Where we go, where we're heading in the future, who knows? But that was a fun first island and a fun first dungeon. We have a lot more to do, clearly, though. This is just the beginning.